Oh, take a look at that Impala right there. Let's let's wait by this car and see if the owners come out of the store. Hey guys, how's it going? Good morning. I, I take it this is your car here? Yes, yes it is. It's beautiful. Thank you. It's, it's beautiful. Do you have a chance to let me check it out? Sure, go ahead. Oh. 1958 was the first year for the Impala. It was a huge gamble in styling after the popular 57 Chevy. Glitz, glamour, and chrome were now a priority. Sue's example is mint and has all the big options on a big car. It's 19 and a half plus the kit, which makes it about 20 to 21 feet. Dang, over 20 feet long. Yes. So you said 348 tri-power, right? 348 tri-power. Show, show me what you mean when okay. you say tri-power. That's, that's three two-barrel carburetors. As rare as this car is, Sue used to own one just like it and even raced it back in 1960. We used to go to the drag strip and we did, we did a little bit of work on this, some work with my dad's Dremel. As, as much as I could get to kind of smooth everything out. So That's you were doing do. some intake porting when I was on the 58 Impala back in the day. But Here you are now at this point in your life in your 70s and you're back in a 58 Impala convertible. How does that feel? Well, it's something that we just never thought would ever happen. Down memory lane didn't come cheap though. Soon her husband Ron paid almost $100,000 for this rare and desirable classic back in 2011. On the auto ambush, Eric Green, KOAT Action, 7 News.